What is up, everybody? Escape211 here. We are looking at Armor Attack once again. This is Armor Attack Alpha 3.0 based on what I saw in Test Flight. I'm actually on my PC right now because it is more optimized for PC and uh, Android, it seems, in this run. Um, I'm sure iOS will be up updated more later on but guys yeah i mean if you've gotten it so far you may have already seen this but it starts off with a little tutorial which is really nice so they take you through the basics and uh show you around a little bit after that doing stuff in the hangar but i'm going to go through some of the basic hangar stuff i've seen already um so if you have been to this point where you see a lot of what i see already you probably already know the the groundwork for a lot of this stuff but you have different hangars that you can do between the three different factions that you can choose between uh, and then we also now have an armory where you can buy characters. I'm going to say mechs, but where you can get the mechs here uh, for silver. Silver is the main currency that we have. And then we also have different weapons we can get. We don't have light weapons, but we also see a store here where there's potentially going to be more currency that we're going to be able to either purchase or get. Uh, and then maybe some kind of subscription basis and also some upgrade tokens that we can use for the upgrades that we have of mechs and weapons. Um, and it also is interesting to see that they have these ultimate slots that we can't actually use yet but maybe we'll get some extra perks for different weapons and mechs and speaking of that if we go into our hangar you can actually go to a specific mech and then hit the upgrade character and then you will see the upgrade path down here now all of them have a uh you know either a defensive or a mobility function um or something like that some of them actually instead of mobility have damage if you're going with um the Hermit faction, they focus more on damage, but these are usually the two roads that you can go. Uh, and depending on the different, you know, faction you choose, this varies, but overall this faction stuff is the same. Um, so, you know, it, it's interesting and I'm not sure what is gonna be best for which uh, mech or for which faction yet. Definitely going to need to spend time doing all that. You also have an upgrade path for each of the weapons that you can do where, um, you know, you have these different perks that you'll get from, I think, these main three sections here. Um, that will be these one, two, three perks. And then in between that, you'll be able to upgrade, upgrade like damage or like uh, reload or ammo in this case. So um, yeah, the upgrade system and the upgrade path is really cool. All of it though, uh, because we have to get all of our currency for free and grind it out now, is tied to these uh, different quests that we have. So we have the general ones here and then the faction specific ones here. So um, if you want to view all of them, this is helpful to know if you have certain things you want to go for. Right now, I'm trying to focus on XP to level up, but um, you know, you may be trying to focus on uh, getting currency or getting uh, certain materials you need for doing uh, other specific upgrades. But that's the basics, guys. I also wanted to just show you a little bit of the new map um, that I played in a match earlier. So here we go. Ooh, yes, shipyard. Okay. All right, we only have one mech for this because I'm just trying Hermit, but we'll see how this goes. I actually uh, haven't done much in the Hermit faction. I actually wasn't loving the Creeper, just like, uh, I don't know if you guys have watched Slayer. He's done some videos. Uh, he was talking about how he hasn't been a really good scout or beacon runner. I generally agree, and even when I first started, I wasn't too impressed with how he felt. Like, he just didn't feel like he had the HP or the damage or the, you know, as much... Um, uh, dashing speed as, as some others but uh, after doing a little bit of upgrading on his damage uh, it's actually quite good and I think this guy will actually have really good burst potential and use properly can be really dangerous um, so uh, oh like right here okay so that guy isn't even attacking me but look at that I with then a couple seconds I already took away massive amounts of his health that was really really good so he has a lot of potential there you can also like generally fire like this which i don't recommend this is not really a sustained weapon you want it to hold but i'm just doing it for now as i kind of pass time um but yeah this is the uh, aside from that though um i'll probably talk more about mechs later this is the new map uh shipyard and like i said before it has this central area that is the core theme as you can see on the top it says an event starts in 20 20 some odd seconds we're going to move in here to the center actually You'll see that we have four beacons that you want to try to capture, but this center area is key. I don't. I was gonna. I didn't know if that guy was going over there. I'm not gonna deal with him. I. I think I need to take the center first. So we're gonna move into this. You want to be in this um, yellowish square area uh, when that event is going on, so that you can get points for your side. Let's get this guy. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, that bar just came up in the top, and right now it's blue, which is my side. Man, good, good big chunks on him. Um, that's what you want. You want it to be on your side uh, for the event. 
Okay, I thought I could get him. All right, we're going to dash in to take these guys out before they can get in the center. Which may or may not be good, but that guy was so close to dead, and this guy... And he's not even going to attack me. I was going to say I should be able to kill him before he does too much to me. Um, but I just wanted to keep the center to show you guys. So if you keep the center, uh, it will lock out one of your beacons so um, no one can take it. I don't know if you actually... Ooh. Okay, that was a weird camera angle. I don't know if you actually get points for it, but I want to just make sure it's locked out. Because I think it's going to be either A or B that it locks out. Um, so as long as there's no enemies here, they won't try to take the beacon. At least that's the way I understand it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I guess we're just going to... Oh, okay. As you can see behind me, up on the mini-map, uh, A just got locked out. But we're going to go toward... Uh, we're going to go toward one of the other enemy beacons to take that just so that we can take control of the map. But the idea behind this map is that you want to, you know, control the beacons like normal and then control center so you can lock out certain areas, um, especially if you have the lead. Uh, if you get locked out or if you end up in the lockout area and it closes off, it will destroy your mech instantly. So you could lose a mech very easily. Uh, if you don't get out of those locked out zones. It does give you a warning when you're in the lockout zone uh, a little bit before it closes, so you have a little bit of time to get out, but not a ton. So you want to be wary of that, um, yeah, as you do this. It's a very interesting mechanic. I mean, quite honestly, I'm still like learning all the ins and outs of the map as well as how this all functions, but uh, it does feel hectic because uh, the map itself is a decent size, but there's only four beacons and there are these conveyor belts on the side. And it's just easy for these to switch hands often, um, especially because the AI just seems driven to capping them like crazy. They don't really engage in combat, but they take these beacons a lot. So we're going to drop down over here and deal with these guys. Yeah, look at that. Boom. All that burst damage taking down that guy. Very, very good. Quite impressive, I feel like. And there we go. That's it. Got it done. And that gives you an idea of the basics, you guys. And uh, I'm pretty pumped. I think there's a lot of potential in this game right now. Um, and uh, I, I love what they're doing so far. It definitely has areas where we want to see, you know, some more maps, some more stuff overall. But I know they're gearing up to potentially um, get into beta and then to even global launch within this year. So uh, I, I did see them comment on that. Uh, it sounds crazy ambitious to me, but I also think that, you know, with this kind of stuff, they, they seem like they're on the path. So I really love what they're doing here. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. If you've played it, uh, what kind of things you think of it, what you'd like to see uh and uh you know if you'd like to see me do more content i'm sure i could do uh plenty other things as i play and learn more about it um feel free to like i'd say if we get to let's say 35 likes on this video i will do some more armor attack videos if you guys like seeing some of that so uh feel free to comment like all that kind of stuff and we will see you out there on the battlefield